How do you lose to a goldfish? Ty Sinet has lost to a goldfish. Come on. The ratio here is Kai Snack took over 250 plus deaths to defeat the second boss in Elden Ring, and it took Point Crow's goldfish 30 tries. That is an insane ratio. How are you at the second helm of Twitch's career paths and not gaming hard enough? Come on, man. Come on. This is this is Kai Sinat beating the second boss of Elden Ring after 252 deaths. This is him beating the boss. <laughs> and in all fairness, I would I would also pop off. That's pretty impressive. But this is uh, Point Crow's Goldfish beating the boss. Huge damage, actually. Good heal. Oh my god. Goaded heal, actually. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. One more hit. He's staggered. One more hit, Tortellini. One more hit, Tortellini. One more hit. Tortellini, please stop healing. You don't have any heals. Let's go. <laughs> it, it's a little confusing, if I'm honest, because a lot of people in the comments are doing the same thing as me, saying that he's not really a gamer. You can, you can be a gamer and not be good at games. I hate that stipulation. You can be bad at games. But like on Twitch, it's uh. It's like a thing to be good at games. It's like it's like your identity almost. Oh, I, I clicked over a tab and mommy is trending on Twitter with two hundred thousand posts. Fuck off. This of it the the uh, the entire goldfish speculation obviously stems off the back of Michael Reeves goldfish, which if you don't know has bought and traded stocks better than. Reddit. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Like the Wall Street's bet Reddit losing to a goldfish. They will have to sit their asses on that. Coming back from that's difficult. That's that's you don't really come back from losing to a goldfish. I think I think it's just impressive that he was able to put all of the triggers and buttons in such a layout that gives the goldfish an opportunity to play the game. If this goldfish was not in this quadrant here, he probably wouldn't have killed the boss, which is hilarious. Moving back to Twitch's number two amazing content, man. <laughs> yeah, subathon. He's doing a subathon where he's trying to beat all of Elden Ring in one setting. So he's decorated his whole room and done everything for it. So it's pretty good. But right now he's at the point where he's uh, defeated the third boss. And that's this right here. Thank you, bum ass, bitch ass, fucking mammal ass, bitch ass dog. You fucking bitch ass nigga. I fucking hate you. I hate your mom. I hate your father. I hate your grandmother. I hate your uncle. I hate your aunt. I hate your kids. I hate your. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. It was full Kendrick Lamar there. That's fucking sick, dude. Good for him. He is not finished. He's not ending stream until he's he secures the entire game. <laughs> this is him. This is him crying real tears after defeating the third boss. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. If you haven't seen clips from this, it's fucking insane. If you had wells upon wells of money, this is what I'd want to do with my days. They are dueling on stream. <laughs> Look at the background. I don't even know. I saw a recent statistic that I don't even know how Disney Channel or any of the streaming services can compare to things like Twitch and YouTube. Dude. You get more daily viewers on this almost than you do on the entirety of Disney Channel. That's crazy. The number of viewers on Disney Channel alone has dropped all the way down to about 130,000. Isonac can pull that. Yeah, he's he's actively chasing Disney Channel's ass with this. This is the exact type of content I want to see, and it's good to see him playing games. I haven't been the biggest fan of him just chilling, but like him playing games is awesome. I love people getting so into games, and he's given this his absolute all, dude. That's awesome. Do you think he regrets his cultural impact on the world? Do you think sometimes he goes to bed and is like, I shouldn't have released Giat. I shouldn't. I should have kept that bitch locked up it inside like the Leave demon like the green goblin mask talking to me so the the last part of all this is that i'm confused i don't i've never played the i've never played elden ring or a souls like game 
So I don't know how difficult they are to someone who's actually done a bunch of games. They can't be that hard, right? Like six hours on one boss, that that's bad. That's that's tough. That it doesn't get tougher than that. I I <laughs> I pray for his mental stability. I hope I, I hope he's okay. I think he's a hundred hours in. No, he's not. He's 46. I'm a I'm a fat, stinky liar. I'm a big fat liar. <laughs> That's all I got. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm recording this on Mother's Day, so if you have a mother, that's awesome. Shout out to her for birthing you to watch this video. That's kind of cool. And I hope you have a good one. Bye!